I started a new medication and I'm scared. Because I just want my mind to feel clear. I can't think most of the time. I just can't think. It's like if you have five radios playing at the same time and you can't understand what they're saying. And that's like inside my head most of the time. So I can't do things. So I started a medication after years and years, and I'm scared. <laughs> I'm excited and I'm scared. I don't want it to make me boring. I like having big feelings when they're good. <laughs> but I have really inappropriate reactions when I'm upset. I don't react proportionately to what's happening because it spirals in my head and something very simple can feel like, to me, a symbol of horrible things on the way and then I'm just like <laughs> apocalypse mode over very small things and I want that to get better but I'm scared that I'm not going to have the good big feeling I like getting really, really excited over little things. I like being like, oh my god. <laughs> I like being like, oh my god. I can't believe this flower. Oh my god. I can't believe this dog. You know, it sounds stupid when I'm saying it. But like, I get this overwhelming sense of joy over very small things and I'm scared that if my new medication if it takes away the sad big feelings and the anxious big feelings what if it takes away the good ones too <laughs> So I'm not really scared of being boring, like to other people. I'm not scared of how I'm coming across to other people as far as being boring. I just mean, <sighs> the way my brain is now, It's for me. I just need it for me. I don't want to feel blah. I don't want to feel blah. I want to feel all of the really positive feelings that I always feel. I get so excited. I think sometimes, oh gross. <laughs> this is a real human body happening right now. Um, I just, I just think, I, gosh, I really wish that I could hang on to the parts of myself that I don't like and just be able to think clearly. That's all. I just want to think clearly. I've only been on it for a week. 
other than being like, I feel like I need to drink water more, like it makes me extra thirsty. I don't think I've felt anything because it takes longer than that to build up in your system and kick in. And most of the time, I'm just excited. <laughs> most of the time I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna not feel like such a burden to the people around me from like, just like, I never want anybody to feel like they have to walk on eggshells around me. And I just, when I'm having those spirals in my head, I'm like, I know this is stupid. I know this isn't helping. I know that like the reaction that I'm having is not appropriate. I know that this is wrong. And it's like, I can't stop. So I'm like, I'm so excited for that to be lessened. I think that everybody has times like that, but I'm excited for that to be like, in a normal bracket <laughs> like I know it's not going away completely because I'm human but like I'm excited to be able to process things in a more appropriate way it's I don't know I just just I just had this like <sighs> everything all at once like I didn't have any fear I didn't really want to take it because I can't try to get pregnant while I'm on it. Like, it's not recommended. But, like, I tried to get pregnant for a year and then I was told that I was in the infertile category and then that just fucking sent me. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> um... Yeah, so it's kind of ironic that, like, the thing... <laughs> you get it. You can put that together in your head. So the, I'm just trying to say that the only apprehension that I had about it was I was sad because it means that this journey that I've been on is probably over um, because I, I, I feel like I have a pretty limited window of time and that was the only apprehension but now it's like I think I just needed 10 minutes to freak out I feel so much better now oh shit okay Yeah, that's fine. I freaked out. I processed it. <laughs> um, it might happen again, which is also fine. This could even be a side effect from the medication as I'm trying to adjust to it. Anyway, I hope that this wasn't triggering to anybody. I hope that this can feel comforting and maybe validating. I hope that this can make somebody feel less alone in your medication or, or otherwise mental health journey. Um, I know that for me, it's going to be lifelong. And in moments like this, I can say I'm okay with that. <laughs> Um, all right, well, I hope I can give you an update at some point and be like, wow, I love my medication. I process emotions more appropriately, but I still get overwhelmed with joy when I see a pretty flower or a cute dog.